a man and his son were once going with their donkey to market. As they were walking along by its side, a countryman passed them and said, You fools, what is a donkey for but to ride upon? So the man put the boy on the donkey, and they went on their way. But soon they passed a group of men, one of whom said, See that lazy youngster he lets his father walk while he rides. So the man ordered his boy to get off and got on himself. But they hadn't gone far when they passed two women, one of whom said to the other, Shame on that lazy lout to let his poor little son trudge along. Well, the man didn't know what to do. But at last he took his boy up before him on the donkey. By this time they had come to the town, and the passers-by began to jeer and point at them. The man stopped and asked what they were scoffing at. The men said, Aren't you ashamed of yourself for overloading that poor donkey of yours and your hulking son? The man and boy got off and tried to think what to do. They thought and they thought, till at last they cut down a pole, tied the donkey's feet to it, and raised the pole and the donkey to their shoulders. They went along amid the laughter of all who met them till they came to Market Bridge, when the donkey, getting one of his feet loose, kicked out and caused the boy to drop his end of the pole. In the struggle, the donkey fell over the bridge, and his forefeet being tied together, he was drowned. "'That will teach you,' said an old man who had followed them. "'Please all, and you will please none. In Madanpur lived a very hard-working farmer named Gopal. He has three sons, Ram, Laxman, and Hanuman. All three were strong and healthy. But they were all lazy. Gopal was sad thinking about his sons and the future of his farmland. One day, Gopal got a flash of an idea. He called all his sons and said, Ram, Laxman, and Hanuman, I have hidden a treasure in our farmland. You search and share the treasure among you. The three sons were overjoyed. They went to the fields and started searching. Ram started from one end. Laxman searched from the other end. And Hanuman did so from the centre. They dug every inch of the field, but they could not find anything. Gopal said to his sons, Dear boys, now you have tooled and conditioned the field, why not we sow a crop? Off went the sons to sow the crops. Days passed. Soon, the crops grew lushly green. The sons were delighted. The father said, Sons, this is the treasure I wanted you to share. Moral Fruits of hard work are always sweet. Once upon a time there was a water-bearer in India who had two large pots, each hung on each end of a pole which he carried across his neck. One of the pots had a crack in it, and while the other pot was perfect, and always delivered a full portion of water at the end of the long walk from the stream to the master's house. The cracked pot arrived only half full. For a full two years, this went on daily, with the bearer delivering only one and a half pot full of water in his master's house. Of course, the perfect pot was proud of its accomplishments, perfect to the end for which it was made. But the poor cracked pot was ashamed of its own imperfection, and miserable that it was able to accomplish only half of what it had been made to do. After two years of what it perceived to be a bitter failure, it spoke to the water-bearer one day by the stream. I am ashamed of myself and I want to apologise to you. Why? asked the bearer. What are you ashamed of? I have been able for these past two years to deliver only half my load because this crack in my side causes water to leak out all the way back to your master's house. Because of my flaws, you have to do all of this work and you don't get full value from your efforts, the pot said. The water bearer felt sorry for the old cracked pot and in his compassion, he said, As we return to the master's house, I want you to notice the beautiful flowers along the path. Indeed, as they went up the hill, the old cracked pot took notice of the sun warming the beautiful wildflowers on the side of the path, and this cheered it some. But at the end of the trial, it still felt bad because it had leaked out half its load, and so again it apologised to the bearer for its failure. The bearer said to the pot, 
Did you notice that there were flowers only on your side of your path, but not on the other pot's side? That's because I've always known about your floor, and I took advantage of it. I planted flower seeds on your side of the path, and every day while we walk back from the stream, you've watered them. For two years I have been able to pick these beautiful flowers to decorate my master's table. Without you being just the way you are, he would not have this beauty to grace his house. Each of us has our own unique flaw, but it's the cracks and flaws we each have that make our lives together so very interesting and warding. You've just got to take each person for what they are and look for the good in them.